Hi everyone, I'm Mia from Sierra Robotics, and today I want to walk you through something that's essential to everything we do in the robotics world. How we actually classify mobile robots. What they are, how they move, and where they're used. We are going to look at the big picture and then zoom into the details. You will learn about the different types of drawing modes, real-world applications, and also how Sea Robotics plays a role in making these machines actually work in real industries with real results. Alright, so let's get started. First, let's make sure we are talking about the same thing. When I say mobile robots, I'm referring to a complete system. It can perceive its environment, make decisions, play a pace, and carry out actions. And it's not just theoretical mobile robots. Today, we are operating in factories, warehouses, hospitals, even farms and disaster zones. They are one of the most exciting applications of AI and automation. At Sea Robotics, uh, mobile robots at the heart of our ecosystem. We design not just the ho hardware or the software, but the deep control logic, the perception systems, and the cloud age architecture that actually allows them to think and move. You will see that in action as we go. Now, how do we classify mobile robots? Yes, there are two main ways by how they move. This is what we call the dry mode and by where they are used, application scenarios. Let's start with dry mode. Think of this as the go cache of the robot world. Simple, nimble, and surprising, effective. They use two drive wheels on either side and they turn by changing the relative speed between them. There's usually a universal wheel or two underneath to keep balance. But the motion comes entirely from that differential speed control. They are great for narrow spaces and light payloads. You will see them a lot in educational uh, robots and competitions, delivering robots in hotels, in the logistics platforms. Imagine a hotel hallway where one robot is delivering a meal while another is picking up laundry. These robots don't need a huge brain, they just need reliable motion, stable sensors, and simple pace planning. That's where Sea Robotics comes in. We provide compact drive systems and our lightweight SRC mini controllers, which are optimized for space limited chassis like this. It's low voltage, highly responsive, and cost effective for mass deployment. Of course, they are not made for heavy lifting, but in controlled environments, they are the perfect fit. Now let's scale up. Four-wheel differential drive robot operate under the same principle, but with double the driving power and when you are carrying heavy loads, especially in an industrial environment. This added stability is crucial. Picture a logistics warehouse with multi-layer shopping. These robots are carrying out pallet-sized containers or moving uh, entire cars of goods. You need four drive wheels to balance that weight and maintain traction on polished concrete or even slightly uneven uh, surfaces. At Sea Robotics, we have developed four-wheel motion systems. This means smooth motion on the variable loads, integrated feedback to prevent a wheel slip and uh, the adaptive turning radius for tight spaces. These are deployed in everything from a warehouse a replenishment to feeding materials into production lines. This is where things start to feel very automotive. Ackman's ceiling is like how a car turns. The front wheels adjust their angles during turns so that each wheel uh, traces its own circle. The results? Smooth curves, better control at speed, and significantly reduces wear on the tires. Let's say you have a large outdoor factory area. Your robot needs to travel a long straight distance, but also turn gracefully uh, into loading docks or charging stations. Or maybe it's a, a petrol robot monitoring a parameter where sharp pivots aren't ideal. 
Ackman robots are often used in industrial parks, smart city petrol systems, logistics shuttle scenarios. Sea Robotics integrated this model into platforms where speed and uh, Efficiency are key. Uh, our controllers can handle motion blending, auto braking, and obstacle detection simultaneously. You get smoothly without uh, compromising safety or autonomy. These are the ones that Impress actually shows. Magnum wheels have angled doors that allow the robot to slide in any direction, sideways, rotate in place without turning the body. Uh, they are perfect when you need to navigate tightly packed spaces or exact precise uh, docking. I think uh, like the electronics, uh, manufacturing, semiconductor lines, hospital corridors, hotels, or high-end retail spaces. In a PCB factory, the layout changed weekly with Magnum wheels and the robotic slam based navigation. Uh, the robot can remap, remap the environment and still move like a ballet dancer. Plus, we support visual positioning and LiDAR fusion, which means precise motion and accurate stopping, even under uh, moving obstacles or low light. Now let's talk power. Tracked uh, mobile robots are built to conquer terrain, uh, like mini tanks, uh, they don't royal the grip. Uh, these are the robots you want in uh, like the search and rescue, disaster response, oil pipelines, uh, mountainous mining zones. Uh, Sea Robotics offer a uh, track drive integration with uh, payload balancing and anti-slip logic, uh, so the robot stays stable even while extinguishing fires uh, or climbing over rubbers. Uh, it's worth noting track robots are also used indoors, uh, especially in basement level instruction uh, or inspection areas where traditional wheels won't do the job. And now the most dynamic kind of robots that work. Uh, Lag robots are incredibly adaptable by making uh, animals or humans. They are used in research, inspection, exploration, or even entertainment. At Sea Robotics, we don't currently manufacture leg to chassis, but our motion uh, and sensor uh, frameworks can be uh, integrated into third party leg robots. This is especially useful for operators who need advanced slim remote operation and stable perception overlays, uh, even when uh, the robot's body is constantly shifting. Uh, you will see those robots deployed in a high-risk inspection, outdoor research mission, uh, complex stair climbing delivering tasks. Now let's switch gears to application scenarios. Let's talk about where robots are actually deployed. Uh, this classification here is just as important. Industrial mobile robots are the workhorses of smart factories. They operate in warehouses, assembly lines, uh, distribution centers, uh, factory workshops, and they come in multiple types, uh, like AMRs that make decisions on their own, AGVs that follow preset paces, uh, composite robots that carry uh, robotic arms and perform wiring motion. Uh, Sea Robotics power this through our uh, stack mobile robot controllers. Our SRC series core controllers run navigation, uh, task scheduling, and fleet logic. Uh, our RoboShop platform supports multiple robot coordination, uh, dynamic pace replaning, and map editing. We also provide five module development tool kits uh, like the drive, power, control, perception, and exaction. All pre-integrated and field tested. Our robots are active in automated plants, electronics uh, factories, food warehouses, and even the biotech. These industrial mobile robots applications often use uh, like the four-wheel differential drive, Ackman steering, Magnum wheel uh, systems, and in rugged areas, track platforms as well. Uh, this helps humans directly uh, in homes, hospitals, 
uh, hotels, you will see them delivering room services uh, like cleaning floors, uh, checking people uh, when they are in hotels or guiding the tour room through, uh, through the exhibitions. Some even work in hospitals assisting surgeries, delivering medications or uh, helping nurses. Their magic lies in AI, navigate, voice recognition, gesture uh, interaction, and their ability to operate safely around people. Sea Robotics has supported deployments in hospitality, retail, and healthcare environments where these features matter most. Uh, for service robots, uh, the most common chassis is two-wheel differential drives, magnum wheel platforms. And in some advanced uh, medical scenarios, uh, omnidirection or campsite wheel systems. These are the specialists built for extreme environments, dangerous tasks, or very neat jobs. From military to space exploration, uh, deep sea research to earthquake rescue, uh, these robots are often customized designed, equipped with unique sensors or arms, and operated by highly trained teams. CR Robotics provides the back-end control logic, mapping, uh, decision-making, uh, remote control, and the safe pace planning to make sure uh, these robots do the job and come back safely. Special purpose robots often adopt the tracked drive system for terrain adaptability, led robots for uneven and unpredictable disaster sites, uh, and hyper chassis combining high load differential platforms with advanced perception. To meet the demands of rescue operations, uh, military grade mobility, and remote exploration. So, across every scenario, industrial, service, or special purpose, there's always a matching motion system behind the scenes and understanding how these drive modes connect to real-world tasks. This is what allows us to design robots that are not just functional, but truly effective. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I am Mia from Cerebotics. In the next video, we will take this one level deeper, exploring drive models in detail. We will break down what makes a two-wheel system different from a tracked system, and how to choose the right model for your environment. If you have ever wondered what's really going on under the robot's hood, you won't want to miss it. See you next time. Bye!